Hello everyone, welcome back to Solasta, Crown of the Magister. We are here, we are alive, we've just set these two mana wheels going. We killed what appeared to be basically the better half of Oronetis. And they said that Oronetis might die if we do that, so Oronetis might not be so much a problem. And all of our quests are calling for us to get out of this place now. But... To get through this major gate room, we need a key that we don't have. We do have a chunk of the major gate floor, so we might be able to make it work. But I don't know where the key is. And there's a bunch of other locked doors. There's other locations that we've not been. So there's this whole thing that we went through previously by being invisible. We haven't had a long rest in ages. I don't know if there's something else up this corridor. But yeah, I would like a long rest more than anything else right now, which might mean having to get back through this trap door and back upstairs. Let's just see. Hold on. Bye. Quick save. Can I get to here safely? without having to go through... I think my biggest problem is this room of dryad-y stuff. Yeah. How much stuff is here? Oh god, six of them? That's too many. I could have just walked the long way. Alright, yeah, this, this is not a fight that is going to go well for us with, like, no spell casting at all. I will just have to walk around the long way, I suppose. Alright, so we're going the long way then. So, we're going to start with Captive's Quarters. Then, if we can get from here to the northern... No, it's trying to take me that way, look. I don't want to go that way. So we're going to have to do a long hike around, trying not to get killed by every last thing along the way. Because we are not well. And not only do we get to heal for a long rest, but also getting the extra level up is going to be excellent for us, I'm sure. I can't really remember what happens at 11th level. I'm wondering if our cantrips go up to 3 damage die instead of 2. That might be a thing. Did we ever try and get through this locked door? Possibly not. Are these all traps? No. No path to destination. No path to destination. Oh, this room is... blocked off. But we can clear a path, it seems. What's in here, though? crates and some barrels. Interesting. Let's get cautious. Probably not unwise. Are you trapped? We've seen trapped stuff like this before. Although it was a chest, not a barrel. Ten arrows and some plants and gold. Sure. And a crate over here. A diamond of Elia. Probably a very valuable crafting component or something. Nothing else here though, so that's fine. Back out into the main gangway. Go 
go up through here and across that way back to the trap door, hoping that we don't get seen by anything in any of these other places. That's gone well. Get everyone cautious. That's empty. Yeah. There's fights for days in there. There's an elevator. Oh. Could we long rest there? <laughs> probably, probably not, right? To get the party through all of that space. Unlikely. So let's go upstairs, see if we can find somewhere safe. And then we can always just kind of come back to where that bullet was if we want to. I don't think we need to be cautious right now. Thank you. Right, up here. Living room, main entrance. Second floor, study room. Is there another place up here? It looks like there's... I don't know if this is just shadows or something else. God, where, where did we take a long rest? I'm going to be up one of these staircases, I guess. Can't recall which. Oh, right there. Thank God not marked on the map. I guess it's because it's not technically a campsite. But oh boy, I will be grateful for this freaking long rest. Like, I can really imagine how rough a time people at low levels who are underprepared are when they come through here. Because the giants give you the possibility of this quest very early. Yes, I would like to wait and do another long rest. We did all that action in two hours. Level 11. Level 11. Right. Let's do Unsend first. Reliable talent. Whenever you make an ability check that lets you add your proficiency bonus, you can treat a d20 roll of 9 or lower as a 10. Incredible. Gulruk. Gain hit die, we get a third level spell slot, and we have an improved divine smite. Whenever you hit a creature with a melee weapon, the creature takes an extra 1d8 radiant damage, whether you are spending a spell slot to smite or not. Incredible. We're going to do so much damage. Level up Jaina, we get a sixth level spell slot and two slots to select. Now, I've never done sixth level spell slots in this game. They were never available the last time I played. Oh boy, what do we have here? Chain lightning. Target a creature with lightning, which can arc to three other targets within 30 feet. One creature plus three creatures within six tiles. The first creature needs to be within range 24. Action instant, dex saving throw, 10d8 lightning damage, save for half. Circle of Death. A sphere of negative energy causes necrotic damage from a point you choose. 8d6 necrotic damage. Requires a pearl of at least 500 gold. Disintegrate. Causes a massive force damage on target which can be disintegrated if reduced to 0 hit points. 10d6 plus 40 damage save to negate. Eye Bite. Your eyes gain a specific property which can target a creature each turn. Subspell effects. I bite asleep. The creature falls asleep unless shaken or hurt. I bite panicked. The creature becomes frightened and always runs away from you. I bite sickened. The creature has disadvantage to attacks until a wisdom save is succeeded. Freezing sphere. Toss a huge ball of cold energy that explodes on impact. Action, instant, con save, 10d6 cold. Globe of invulnerability. 
A sphere surrounding you prevents any spell up to 5th level to affect anyone inside it for one minute. That is kind of incredible. Sunbeam. You conjure a line of radiance which can burn and blind creatures in the line of effect. Undead and oozes save with disadvantage. The beam can be retargeted each turn. 68 radiant damage, save for half, inflicts blinded, inflicts sunbeam on self. You can use your action each turn to target a creature with the sunbeam for 68 radiant damage. Undead and oozes save with disadvantage. True seeing, create... A creature you touch gains true sight for one hour. Creatures can see in normal and magical darkness and can see through invisibility and illusions. Well, that is a tough choice to pick two spells. Obviously, we can pick anything from the lower levels if we really want to, but I don't. Ten D8 lightning damage, dex save. 8d6 necrotic damage, con save. 10d6 ice damage, con save. 10d6 plus 40 damage, save to negate. Dex, so that's, that's really good, apart from it's a save or suck spell. So it's one target. They'll take between like, what, 70 and 100 damage-ish. 10d6, half of 10d6 is 30. So, yeah, around 70 damage, unless they save, which is, like, rough. Globe of Invulnerability seems incredible, if I can ever remember to use it correctly. Sunbeam, conjure a line of radiance which can burn and blind creatures in the line of effect. Being able to do that over and over again in different directions seems really strong. 68 radiant damage. Oh, boy. Problem is, like, a lot of this stuff is concentration. And if we're going to take two spells at this level, they shouldn't both be concentration, I think. Oh, no. This just seems great. Like, 10d8 lightning damage, and then three more creatures with 10d8 lightning damage. That just seems like more fun, doesn't it? Let's do it that way. And then prepare spells. What are we never using? I've never used fly. We've already equipped chain lightning. Let's equip globe of invulnerability as well. Mage armor, magic missile, shield, shatter, misty step, counter spell, fireball, haste, tentacles, blight, greater invisibility, dimension door. Cone of Cold Mind to his Chain Lightning Globe of Invulnerability. Validate. And Bjorn. What do you get? A 6th level spell slot. Turn Undead Destroy at CR2. Strike of Chaos adds an additional 1d6 to the damage. And your spells. We should have done this first, really, to see if there was anything here that we could take that would then be on... Jaina's spell list so we could mix and match more but these are all different blade barrier conjure a wall of razor sharp blades which causes 60 10 slashing damage to anyone crossing it verbal somatic conjure a wall blade barrier ring conjure a wall of razor sharp damaging 10d6 slashing action instant but it's not concentration it just happens once for 10d6 slashing damage. Harm. Inflicts devastating necrotic damage and reduces the maximum hit points accordingly. Cannot drop the target below one hit point. 14d6 necrotic damage. Save for half. Inflicts harmed. Heal. 70 healing. We've seen that one before. Hero's Feast is kind of incredible as I understand it. Summons a feast which cares most ailments and grants immunity to poisoned and being frightened. Wisdom save advantage and increased maximum hit points. Casting time 10 minutes, duration instant. A gem of at least 1000 value to be consumed. The party feasts for one hour, removes all occurrences of these conditions, disease and poisoned, grants well fed, immune to poison and being frightened, advantage to wisdom saves 
and current and max hit points increased by 10. It doesn't seem as good as I was expecting it to be. Who's seeing? We've seen before. And obviously, if there's stuff we're not using from elsewhere, like Ray's Dead, I've just never used. Uh, Banishment is solid. Revivify is needed. Spirit Guardians is good. Create food is important. Old Person, Spiritual Weapon, Healing Word, Cure Wounds, Inflict Wounds, Shield of Faith we don't need. Bless we don't really need. So that gives us four spells to prepare. So we could do this. All right. We are ready for more adventuring. Let's... Where are we going? What are we doing? There's still lots of adventuring to be done downstairs. We need 13,000 XP to get to level 12. But there is certainly a bunch of creatures downstairs for us to be fighting. And I'd like to figure out that major gate if we could. So go through here and now we're back down here so there's this whole giant room full of security we could probably chew through this reasonably fast and then we have access to this living room which I think we can take a long rest in so why don't we just come and charge through this lot like an unstoppable wall of 11th level beasts that we are. This door is closed. There's, apart from the elite guards, the regular ones I don't suspect will give us too much trouble. So, what we really need is a really good opener Probably a cone of cold. If this guy doesn't see us. If that guy also doesn't see us. Alright, this guy's going to see us. Oh, they didn't. That's on me. They did. God damn it. Alright then, well... We'll do what we can with what we have. Uh, we are not currently hidden. We can be currently hidden, though. Also, we need more bolts. I know we must have more bolts. So we'll get that going. Guard Watcher... Mana Scholar. I'd rather get the Mana Scholar dying first, to be honest. Their spellcasting concerns me more than anything else. Bjorn? What do we fancy? Honestly, like... Something like this seems like a great time. So this one is safe, that one is not. And obviously people are going to try and run through. Like that. Clumsy. This one is an elite. This one is also an elite. They get stuck because they don't have enough movement. Yeah, they're getting just wrecked. Ah, uh, we have not done mage armor with Jaina. That's on me. 
Oh yeah, we have smites again. A victory fit for song. I forgot that was a thing that we sometimes had available to us. 16 is going to miss. This man, a scholar, having to go through the cloud. Jaina. Let's just start with a shocking grasp with advantage against a metal armor wearing creature. A modest success. And then we will put ourselves just behind some cover for next time. More people walking through the cloud. It might not be a perfect cloud, but it's doing great work. Like, just the sheer number of hit points that it has inflicted. How much HP does this watcher have? 13? I am dumb. All right, well, that was an error. I did end turn rather than cancel or something daft of the like. Uh, do we just have regular ammo? We do. Top that up. And do one of those. And one of those. You have them now. So we do 4d6 psychic damage with that now. Seems incredible. You miss on a 20 because we are incredible. Everything, everything is incredible. Good nat one there. Great work. We're just too strong. Half that on a crit. Thanks. Two crits in a row. Incredibly rude. Three crits out of four hits. And a fireball. No, nope, firebolt. Just get hurt. You're not stunned, are you? No, one of you is shocked. You're shocked. Oh, well, we'll do a third one on a big crit like that. Look at all Just those dice. Most. So many dice. Mana, Scholar, Acid Arrow. No biggie. Uh, there's like four of them in there. Which to me says... Oh, look at that cone of cold. Right through the middle. Incredible. Yeah, the elite guards have a high chunk of HP, but otherwise we're going to be just fine, I think. Easier when you do have, like, every spell slot available to you under the sun and all of your HP back. Uh, Galbrook's like barely her, honestly. All right, we now want to cunning action, disengage, sword and board out, stand here. And how much HP does it, this guard trainer has? Twenty-two HP. I think we can concern ourselves with something a bit bigger, and we miss. Of course, we do. Uh, Bjorn is focusing on this, but no one's in it anymore. So, shall we focus on something else instead? Let's stand... Oh, we can't stand there. We can stand here. And then cast spell, blade barrier, wall... Yes. 
Collect an origin for the wall effect. That's a fun looking wall, isn't it? Half that. Are you still with us? Of course they're all trying to get out of that wall now. Let's see if we can stun them inside of it. That would be nice. A palpable hit. 13, not gonna do it. We're gonna miss on a 16. Acid arrow again. Small ouchies. Uh, let's see. How about just one of these? Fifteen damage, not exactly strong, but it's fine. Thirteen slashing damage. Deal with it. We'll be fine, don't worry about it. Uh, yes, I will take an attack of opportunity. Very, very dead. Ow. Double ow. Right, we don't want to walk through our own wall of daggers, certainly. Cunning action... Disengage. We'll walk to here. And then there. And then sneak attack this guard. A telling blow. Wonderful. Just all of the dice. All of them. Uh, we can't move this line now, unfortunately. How strong are we these days? 15, not great. I was pondering, trying to shove someone into the wall. That has not gone well. This guard has moved away. Are you okay? I'm fine. We've got 12 whole HP left. That's like enough, right? Uh, they are stunned, which is incredible. Like who has time to wait? Who has time to wait around to heal when you could just be attacking stuff? All right, this man a scholar has to go. They are in sight of us. If we stand there, they are not. Good. Save that. You've seen worse. I have. I have seen worse. Uh, I will take an attack of opportunity. Thank you. And then Unsent is just going to waltz over here, take up this scholar, and everything's going to be great. <laughs> it's a nat one. We will just do, like, a first level spell of some kind. Guiding Bolt will do it. It's a nat one! They're stunned, so they can just get dead. Concentrating on this spell, please. Apparently not. Right, let's just end that. Color spray is like the worst spell you could ever cast there, I think. Um, bonus action spell, Misty Step. 
get me through this wall of blades. And then can trip them over there. Good. Good kill. Dead. Bjorn. 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 Stop concentrating on this wall of daggers. Collect up whatever we can. Random equipment we will leave. Cash we will take. So much cash. I don't even know how much we're going to end up with after all of this. Not that I really have anything particular I want to shop for, you know? Oh my god. Is it like one coin in each individual pocket? Because I don't want to take all, because then I end up with all these armors and daggers and stuff I don't need. All right. Ooh, potion of giant strength, potion of heroism. Very nice. So there's another gang of about the same. Oh, these are all mana folks. So that fight should be actually much easier. So we just need to get over there in a convenient fashion. Don't know what the buttons do. Not sure I want to know right now. <gasps> Unsen did come through here invisibly earlier. So we have seen a lot of what the other containers and stuff around here have in them. We should, we should actually, given Gulruk is like as injured as they are, we should actually make some effort to prepare before going into this fight, shouldn't we? Let's heal ourselves. Can we short rest right here? No, we're too close to the action. We used our 5th level spell, Mass Cure Wounds. Not exactly the most necessary thing. Uh, tell you what, Goldrick, use power. Oh, we got so many auras going. Use Lay on Hands here for like 45. Then... Put an improved spell shield on there. Put an improved spell shield there. Cast mage armor on yourself. All right, now I think we're probably about ready for some more action. There's just a bunch of mana scientists around here. I'm wondering if we set up some kind of AoE by this door and stand here, they'll have to come through the AoE to make any attempt of an attack on us. So that seems good to me. Question is, which AoE? Do another insect plague. Cone of Cold would be good if we could get all of those folks in the back also in it, but that's going to be a tougher sell, I think. So, let's try. See where we can get a good insect plague going in front of us here. We'd like to get the stairs included if we could. I mean, I think this will do. We do... Ah, I... There's so many... Oh my god, they're all coming down the stairs? What is happening? 
How many are right in front of us right now? Like, five of them. Uh, excuse me, I paused. Alright, in that case, just go... Go fast. Like... This. I think four of them are going to have issues. And then we will push back here. Then it's just all of them before us. Good. Can't say I'm surprised. That one in the corner was surprised. Damage down the stairs is lovely. They managed to get away, but they won't last long. We can simply start carving through these folks. Victory is mine. Uh, I think this tile here is insects, so. We probably want to go around. Then how else can we be really useful here? I mean, we'll be more useful from over here, I'm sure. I don't think I can get... I can get that one inside in the fireball. Arcana Evo Valmis. Death claims you. Twenty-eight there, twenty-eight here. Then from here, can anyone see us? No. No, they cannot. We'll do that. We'll do this. We will ready one of those. Pop goes the sneak attack. Was that a crit? It was. Okay. That was 12d6 damage. Here, we're just going to give you a little bop, Mr. Crafter. And then there's two mana scholars left. One at the top of the stairs and one in the bedroom. So let's get some cover. These guys are going to have to come through the cloud. Uh, Gulruk, I think, can safely stand on this tile. And this tile. Oh, is that dead? They are. Super. And we will just prepare a firebolt. We will cunning action hide, ready, ranged attack. Anticipating this one coming down the stairs eventually. Ready, attack cantrip. Oh, you're trying to get sneaky, huh? We're going to come away from the door. Ready, cantrip. Can I see you from here? Looks like a no. That's fine. We will ready, ranged attack. Now you've got to come through the cloud of death. Good times had all round. Gulruk can probably finish the job. I trained hard for this. The last of our smites. 
victory. Let's stop concentrating on this spell before it kills us. Go after all of the loot. Just knowing what to take and what not to take, isn't it? Right, that's just all daggers and clothes. Potion of climbing. Healing remedy. Oh, so we can't take a long rest up here then. Here I thought I could for some reason. You can store any object here. When? I don't really want to store things here. Alright, honestly, I thought there was going to be a place to rest here, and I was just kind of, kind of going really gung-ho. Is this empty? This is empty. But, you know, this is all, like, free for us to explore now, which is nice. We can take the elevator back upstairs, I assume. That's open. Oh, there's a... There's a little corner by a campfire. There was one around. Is this an important book? Is this something we've read before? Seems unimportant. Right, we can immediately long rest again. Just because we went so hard on that fight. And it doesn't matter if we just long rest. Because what I really want to do is be prepared for the bullet fight downstairs shortly. That seems like it's going to be... A slightly tougher than average fight, but who knows in our current state. So, that is all of this done. Downstairs, there is some stuff on this crossroad, and there are these mutated bullets and some other stuff around. And then we'll see what else is left. But for now, thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.